friends welcome back to after two years this is gulp full tutorial series for absolute beginners this is part five of the series and from today onwards we'll start writing code starting with writing our first task today let's get started if you have missed out on the fundamentals that i've covered in the first four episodes make sure that you go through them in order to learn and master gulp with me today we are writing our first task so what are we going to do we are going to create multiple J javascript files which is js extension files and we'll use a plugin called gulp concat to make them into one single js output that's the task we need this is one of the most routine a development task that most projects will use so let's go ahead and implement that all right i am in the gulp tutorials all right so this is what um, what we'll do is we'll write a very basic uh, gulp file and we'll run it all right so let's go ahead and first thing in the gulp file.js well, let's import the gulp require gulp the next thing we i told that we'll be working with gulp uh, Thing. So let me go to that folder and gulp tutorial. All right, I'm going to do npm install gulp concat. That's the plugin we are going to work and use. So I've installed gulp concat. You can see it in the package. You can see here it's in the dependencies gulp contact. Okay, not contact, concat. <laughs> All right, so next thing we'll do, we'll import that particular concat equal to require gulp concat all right so now we got the gulp and we got the concat uh, module that we want to use now let's write our first task and say gulp dot task now this is where you are defining your task okay so the first parameter is the name so we'll say concat js that's the name i'm giving you can give any name to it the next will be a function callback function that it takes okay this is how you define a gulp task now the next thing we'll do i told you that a task is nothing but everything will be between source and test methods right so the first line you will always write is gulp dot src this is a function now here we'll give the input okay now here we can say star.js now here what i'm saying essentially is that inside this find all the .js files okay we don't have any we'll create it even better i'm going to create a folder called app and put all the js inside it the next thing what we need to do is once you have selected the list of files that you want to do then you will write dot again and you will always pipe them pipe is nothing but you are sending the data from here to this and here we are going to define what it should do we are going to say concat them name it as dot all js right or you can say combined js or min dot js whatever name you want to give the third step is to use gulp pipe again always you will pipe and say gulp dot destination which is the final step and you will say put it in the dist folder all right and that's all you need to do in this task let's take a look at it again remember gulp tasks run between gulp.source and gulp.dest all the processing happens between them so whenever you see me writing a task we'll write this line we'll write this line common what will differ is the input here I'm passing JS, it can be CSS, it can be some other SCSS, less, whatever, or React, TSX. All the processing conversion happens between the source and the destination. All right, remember that. So now that you have defined your Gulp task and it's all ready, we can run them. But before we run, inside the Gulp tutorial, I'm creating a folder called app. And inside the app, I'm creating test1.js and I will throw a simple console.log and say test1 file output. So this will be a JS file basically. I'll have one more and say test2.js and here I'll write console.log test2 
output. All right, so now think that we have two JavaScript files in our app folder. You can have 20, 30, any number. <clears throat> now, we are telling that inside the app folder, find all the JavaScript files ending with .js and combine them, concatenate them. Okay, that's the task we have written. Very, very simple task. Now to run it, in the command line, you will write gulp followed by the name of the task, which is concat-js. Now hit enter, it will run and it is starting and finished. And what we have told is that you should at the destination should be dist folder, which is what it created with the file all.js. When you open it, you will see both the outputs in one single file. Okay, this is a very, very common routine task that's often employed in any small or big projects because you, you will have multiple JS files. You will need something like global.min.js. You will compress them, combine them into one single file, right? Now see, I'll run it again. Now it will create a file called global.min.js, right? So this is one of the most routine task that you will be required. Same way there are top 10, 20 tasks that are often required in development and I will be covering them step by step. I hope now you are comfortable writing your first gulp task. Please do let me know if you have any questions or doubts. I'm here to help you. In the next episode, I will show you how to compile SCSS into multiple things, compressing it, concatenating, and keep on adding more such things which are often required in development. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you do, please do hit that like button and subscribe button for me. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.